Okay, you need a Phillips screwdriver. A drill is nice to have, but uh, you got to remember all the parts are made out of extruded aluminum. So I would recommend just having a screwdriver only. Flathead screwdriver. You're gonna have a level. You're gonna have a 10 millimeter wrench, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a three quarter inch wrench, and some small channel locks just for snugging up the fittings for the uh, for the water lines. That's all you're gonna need. All right, so uh, let's get started. Okay, again, same as always. You're gonna uh, set the base where it's going to be sitting inside of the bathroom and uh, we want to level it and once again all these uh, these feet they swivel there's a locking nut right there that you can loosen off so you can move the, uh, the foot up and down to make it accommodate what the floor is going to be like you got your drain so you want to cut this zip tie have the drain down so it's going to sit where the drain area goes and right here this line is going to go to the drain for the steam shower or to the steam generator. So we'll cut this and we'll run this to the back down there for the steam generator. Now this top plate right here is going to be sitting at like the front. You can remove it for access afterwards. You simply just thread this counterclockwise. A little Phillips screw there. Put that back on. That Phillips screw goes onto a mounting bracket right there there's another mounting bracket there so this whole plate will come off and they set this down then once it's on in spot you can see that whole front plate if you got a wall on that side that side there's a wall on either side you can get some access into the bottom through removing that front cosmetic plate off all right now we'll get with building the frame okay so to continue on assembling the aura once you get your base level and in spot, we're going to go through the frame, the whole aluminum frame. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty critical right now to make sure you have all the right pieces in the right spot. So I'm going to run over a couple points of where these pieces are. If you come back here, we're going to come look at the back and go to your back two panels. So we've got this panel here. You've got two screw holes on top and bottom on both of them. That's for this. It's a stopper that's going to go on the back so you don't slam it into the wall and pinch any hoses or wreck any of the equipment. So you identify these holes on these corner pieces also, let me hold it, darn it, right here, they're going to have one of these each for holding the hose on the back. Now as you come around to the front, these front ones, they have a transition piece right here that sticks out a little bit further and it's just for a cosmetic kind of piece that comes out when the shower is finished and it's tucked into, say like where a bathtub used to be. <laughs> Your bottom pieces all have a rubber gasket on the bottom, right, to create a rubber seal. It's going to be a seal when it sits down at the bottom. And a way of identifying this one as being the front, from this one as being at the back, is it has two mounts here that's going to hold the uh, the frame with all of the equipment and the steam generator and the control box. So again, they have a seal, same as this one over here has a seal as well. So they're all going to have a seal. Now we're going to put them together starting at the bottom. So it sits in pretty easy. There's a slot right here and if you look right here it's the same profile. So and we're going to continue on the top. It's going to be the same as the bottom except there's no seals for the top pieces. We're going to match up this piece here so it's going to hold the, uh, the equipment. Frame is going to mount into there. It's not a bad idea to have a rubber mallet around. That one's good. Okay, now once we have it assembled, we're just going to set it down. Yeah. Just like that. Get some cleaner and a rag. Make sure these gaskets are centered and there's no foreign particles or dirt or crap on them. Another point on the profiles I didn't mention earlier on these angle pieces so it'll actually sit down in there. Got your 4 by 20 screws and we're going to screw tops and bottoms all into place. Okay, so once I have the, uh, the frame secured together 
I'm going to mount the stoppers on the back. Okay, now we're going to install the side panels of glass. Both of them are symmetrical, they're exactly the same, and both the bones are the same. Yeah. It's going to sit on this top ledge, on the bo or bottom ledge, sorry. You've got a lip all the way around, so it's going to sit on that bottom lip. And on this back, you're going to make sure that the connection where they're looped together is at the top. So set it on the bottom lip, and just tip it back. You get black screws, and you got a fancy little grommet here that the screw's going to go through and sits in nice. And it's a spacer for uh, some, this fall forward at you. These holes, so the spacer sits in there and kind of centers everything. And what we're going to do, just to start off with, is we're just going to get all the screws just started in the holes, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now when you're installing these, there's all grommet. You want to make sure you try to get it popped into the glass. So, on you, so. Now we've got two side panels put in. Next that's going to go in is your control box. Pieces right here, so that just clips in there. And they're good. You're going to have three down the outside. Two on the inside, this will stay open here because you can't really mount to this because there's no structural integrity to it. So we're just going to put our screws in there, same as we did on the side panels, we'll do that on both sides. So again for the soap tray, you got your uh, mounting fitting with a uh, set screw, so you loosen that set screw off, this comes off, got a little plate there and you have the mounting bracket. And to do the mounting bracket, what you're going to do is set the screw through. Hardware comes with it. And you're on your gasket. That's going to go up against the glass on the other side of the glass or mirror. You're going to put a washer and then a nut. Now I'm going to point out here really quick as well. The, uh, you get extra hardware that comes in with the soap tray. You'll get two extra screws and uh, nuts and washers for mounting the handheld shower rod. Okay. Set up, mount the uh, mounting bracket. We're going to make sure that the, the divot for the set screw is on the top. Can you see that? Anyway, it is right there. Believe me. Make sure that the gaskets are inside so they're not sticking out from the uh, bracket. Top one. Okay. Slide that up. Bottom. Okay, so that's on, then we'll set the cover plate, rest of the mounting bracket, tighten up the set screw, this is loose, that's normal, that's securely mounted, and then we'll just get the other one in and we'll mount the glass. Okay, so we've got the soap dish, take this piece out, there's two rubber gaskets, look like that, one on either side, you're going to notice beveled edge that goes on the outside. So we get the other side done. Snug her up. Pop over here. And again these guys, which are your mounting brackets to go on. There's a set screw at the bottom for the handheld shower. So you undo that set screw. Take this out. You're going to take a screw that's from the uh, soap tray because there's two extra that come with it. So that's going to run through. Then we've got our nut and washer to go on to the other side. Okay, when we're doing the soap tray, you've got a, a slot and a notch for the set screw right there. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom. This on the bottom is going to face down. So the notch is going to face down for the set screw on the bottom. And on the top, that notch and set screw is going to face up. We'll do the top right now. Set screws in. And that's good. Alright, now we're going to take our flexible hose. It's going to hook up to the outlet here. On this other side, we notice this has a tapered edge on it because it's going to sit inside of this tapered socket for holding the handheld shower. Now we're going to put our supports on. 
to the back here to have everything squared up and centered. So what we'll do is we'll take the rubber grommet first. It's going to be pressed through. Then we're going to set this on top. The grommet has to go on the bottom so it presses against the bottom to make a, uh, a seal. That tight. Get that tight and we'll just snug this right down nice and tight. That's going to make a seal right there and it's going to hold it all stationary. We'll do that on both sides. So now we're going to put the roof on. Uh, so I'll point it really quick. You've got two rain showers. The fittings are facing to this side. So obviously we're going to put this as a back side on it. You've got your two speakers. One's connected straight to the other with the output for the speaker. Output for your fan. Your four pin connection for your chromotherapy, which is your multi lights, and then you have your center main lights that is a two pin connection. Now we're going to set in the, uh, the center back glass panel, so we're just going to set that down, same as every other panel. You take your little grommet. Oh, it's already gone. I'm sitting in it. That's fantastic. Four screws go in this one. Compensate in between the holes. Get everything snugged in. See it's nice, there's no mounts in the center here. And there might be a very slight variation, like a sixteenth of an inch or you know, maybe a mill, mill and a half that's gonna come out. That's completely normal. Okay, we're gonna put the front stationary glass pieces in. I just want to bring up another point. When you're putting these in, because it's clear glass, these are actually beveled on one side for that insert to go into. So it's beveled on one side, this side is not. So, we're going to put it in, we set it in like this, and I want to bring up another point. This hole is centered, these are for the hinges for the door up and down on the bottom there. So what we could do, in fact, if you didn't want to have the hinges on this side, wait, you can simply take this glass out, flip it over, Mount it on this side, and now the hinge will be on the other side. So you can switch where the hinges are on either side. Just remember that the uh, it's a beveled hole for the screws for one side facing out. So we'll get this mounted. All right. Need two people. You've got a rubber gasket. It's going to go on either side of the glass, and the bolt's going to come through. Then we need to line up. Now notice, you're going to want to leave, once you get the top end, you're going to want to leave that loose. So you can try to get the bottom lined up. And what you can do now is snug up the bottom, then I'll go to the top, snug that up, and the door will be mounted. It's got set screws, again, two set screws on either. So it's going to come in half. And then the Phillips screwdriver. Snug it up. Put the outside hand and we'll do set screw. This is retarded. Oh, because the, the flat is not skinny enough, eh? There we go. Set screw. Let's screw try to get back on this one again. There. Doors mounted. Okay. Okay, your seals, they go into each other. So, right at 45s. That's how the door is going to close. So, that's how we'll put it on. Start flush with the bottom. Bottom here, we're gonna run a little bit down past the bottom of the door. 
just so it's, it's nice and snug at the bottom there. As much seal as possible. See here, it's touching the top, it's not uncommon, you might have to do a little bit of trimming, so we'll trim that off, we'll get the rest of the gaskets on. Here we got this, big flap off the side of this gasket, it's going to go on the door here, and check our bottom and top again actually, it's better to start at the bottom, my bad. There, that's perfect. So now what's going to happen, come around over here, come around and see what this gasket is. This gasket closes, it's going to catch on the glass on the other side, seals everything right off there. Beautiful. Seals everything off. Now we've got our top and bottom bolts. Okay. This bottom one has a profile, I guess you would say it's uh, kind of like an eaves trough. Because the water is going to come down the door, so you want it then to come away from the door towards the inside of the shower. That's going to go there. And then our top one is just going to stick straight up, catch up into the roof. The unit is going to need silicone. You are supplied with one tube of black silicone. You're going to want to run down, specifically, mainly right in between the center back glass panel and two side glass back glass panels. And you want to do the corners all the way down. There's no need to do the bottom of the glass, but the bottom and the corners you're definitely going to need to do. The, uh, the rubber gasket runs to the end of this aluminum profile, so you're going to want to silicone every corner. And then uh, once the silicone's in and set up, then you can set the uh, floor down and we'll hook up the rest of the electronics. The floor piece is just set right in nicely. Okay, right, so we're going to do our hookups. Big cord is your electrical hookup for the electrician. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up. Right in the beginning, we have the uh, hookup for the drain. It was the drain holes for the steam generator. So it's not a pressure line, it's just gravity drained out. So that's what's going to get plugged on right there. We're going to move over here to your steam outlet. Make sure that fitting's tight. Comes with the hose connection. So, put that on. Tighten that guy up. And he's good to go. We're going to step up next. Since we're working on the steam generator. You get a little white gasket that comes with it, it'll be zip tied to the line. And this is for your uh, cleaning outlet and your aroma. Make sure this is tight too. Right, that's good, it's got a good gasket in there. So that one's snugged up. We're going to come over to here. This is your water inlet with a solenoid. Going into the steam generator, it has a gasket already in there. So we're going to slip that guy up. Now we have two lines available here, and we've got the jets for either side. So we can come around here, got a little connection right there to flip that on. And then probably want to run kind of behind here. Get a few there. Has a gasket on it. Little hill up. This one's going to come from this side. It's going to be hooked up. Now we've got these two lines here. Well, we'll take this one first. This guy here. And now, just really quick so you know where all these go actually, because it just appears that I know where they all go. If you go around to the front of the shower, you take a look, there's pictures for every section where they go up. Your bottom left position goes to your handheld shower, which is this outlet right here. 
So that's why this guy's going to get mad to you this fitting. And these guys are going to go up to the roof because these two both belong to the overhead showers. So, here you go. Let's loop him up there. Now this one, you know, it's got a bit of a kink there. So you want to make sure, try to get rid of that a bit. And so once you get water pressure in the line, it's going to eliminate that. But let's speed it up through the inside here regardless just to prevent anything in the future, right? So that'll be good. So we got those hooked up, and then we have these lines that are going to go up. These all have labels on the front, and there's a schematic on the back of the control box as well to help you out to follow along, right? This line here is your FM antenna, so you can string that up. It's got little eyelets, so you can hang them from nails up on the roof. You have the one that has a little picture of a fan on it. Obviously you're going to go over your fan. That one that's a light. It's going to go to your light now. This one has two different styles of lights, they all do. One has your main lights, which is these two that are hooked up together in the center. And they have two pins. <coughs> so there's your two pin light connection. Those are going to go together, obviously. Then you have a four pin connection. That four pin connection is going to go to your four pin lights connection, which is called your chrome therapy. So, hook that one up. And the one left we have is the speaker hiding way down there. So we'll take the one for the speakers. We can run these two lines up to the overhead rain showers. So we'll set stools in there. This team shower is ready to rock and roll.